Hi, welcome back to another Heather Mac Reacts. Today we're going through some Am I the A-hole stories. And if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I post five times a week, every single week. And if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this first Am I the A-hole story. This says, my husband gave me a warning tap and I called it some abuse. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that in the first minute of YouTube. So we'll call it some abuse, some abuse. Am I the hole? Um, not sure where you would become the a-hole in this situation. Um, however, a warning tab, I really want to know what that means. Because let me tell you something, my husband has never once in 18, almost 19 years, put his hands on me in anger, okay? Has he uh, given me um, dead legs and fucking like slapped the shit out of my ass or like flicked me or like barreled into me or like tackled me onto the bed? Like we used to go at it. Like WWE, like all in, all in good fun, like WrestleMania and just pinching and pulling and twi- we love to fight, but he's tapped me in that instance, you know, like maybe like a tap on the head or like a backhand on the shoulder, all in good fun. I would never call that what she called this. So I'm thinking it's something completely different, but let's just find out for ourselves. As I am writing this, I am laying in bed with my mom. She's helping me gather my thoughts for some other opinions. I am female 24 and my husband is male 30. We've been together for three years and married for one. This is a throwaway account just in case. About a week ago, my husband and I got into an argument over his phone, which he had misplaced. Let me stop you right there. My husband could misplace his left foot if it wasn't attached to his entire body, okay? Misplace his shit all the time. Is it my responsibility to find it? No. Do I help offer suggestions? Sure. Do I sometimes get up and help him look as well? Yeah, sometimes. But I mean, this is like an almost everyday thing. Like I cannot spend my entire life looking for your shit, right? Back to the story. I was in the shower when he lost it. And when I came out, he was throwing a fucking fit over it. He was like, where did you put it? Have you seen it? Angrily yelling and snapping. Oh, I don't think so. I said I hadn't touched it and I needed to get dressed. My husband was standing in the doorway looking behind the door so I couldn't open it. I said, hello, move please. Apparently my tone was rude because my husband turned around and shoved me into the room. I was like, okay, you need to calm down. I can help you look, but I gotta get dressed. He tells me to hurry up. I snap back. I'm not gonna hurry up. It isn't my fucking fault. My husband turned around and hit me on my mouth with the back of his hand. It didn't even really hurt, but I was appalled. So many words, so many words. I think I just gotta... <sighs> Like my, like my heart is racing. Where, where's my, where's my pulse hawk? It's at 105, y'all. It's supposed to be at like 80 resting. So I am worked up. Let's go back. He called it a warning tap because of my attitude. I left right then and there. Can we all give a round of applause for the fucking spine of steel that took to be like, oh, mistreat me once. I'm not gonna give you another opportunity to do what you just fucking did. I called my mom and came over. I haven't left. My brother took me over the next day to get a few things. My husband asked me if this if all this is really necessary. And I said, yeah, it is when you abuse your wife. He was so stricken that I called it abuse. He screamed at me for it. He said, I can ruin his career if I use that word. I know that I can, and I know that he didn't even hurt me, but that's not how I feel, but that's how I feel. He sent me several texts threatening to divorce me if I use that word again, or try to hurt his career by saying it's 
someone important. Am I the a-hole for saying this, potentially citing this, and potentially ruining his career? I think that son of a bitch needs more than his fucking career ruined. You want to threaten me, divorce bitch? Who says I want to stay, stay fucking married to you anyway? A warning tap? A warning usually means this is the precursor for the wind up, right? When, when you have a pre pre-game, right? It's the game before the game. So if this was if this was the warning, if this was the lead up to what she can expect in the future, if you don't like her fucking attitude, get the I don't know if I, and I am literally not a violent person. Like I have actually never, I, I don't think I've ever hit anyone in my entire life out of anger. But if my husband were to backhand me in the mouth and tell me that was a warning for my attitude, I'm not sure I could keep these fists from swinging. Because are you kidding me? Are you my awful parent who hits a child like you don't even hit children and hit your wife you're gonna hit your wife do you give warning shots to the dude who fucking cut you in line at mcdonald's does he get a warning tap for his attitude how about the person who gives you a fucking attitude in walmart do they get a warning tap no but your wife does get the fuck out of here ruin his career ruin his fucking life divorce him take everything you fucking can from him because i promise you this was just the beginning you keep saying well i know it didn't really hurt sweetheart i promise you next time he'd make sure it hurt this was the beginning okay it doesn't go backwards from here it just goes forwards and you did the right thing by getting the fuck out when you did. Cause what if the forwards was the next morning? What if uh, he misplaced his wallet and now you stole it and spent all his money. And now, he, and, and now he's already given you that warning tap. So you're going to get a real one this time. Oh, my stomach is fucking turning. Stay the fuck away. File a restraining order. Stay away from him. I have to get to the comments. <sighs> Not the a-hole, you filed the divorce paperwork first. He hit you. First, it's a warning tap. Next, it's a black eye or worse. You wouldn't be ruining his career. He would be doing that himself by abusing his wife. This won't get better. Block his number, keep the text, and call a lawyer today. Next says, yes, screenshot the text and email them to your mom for evidence in your divorce. Please listen to all these posts. That is not a man that loves and cherishes you. Get out of that house and join a battered women's group for your own support. You do not want to repeat this pattern. Please take everyone's advice and take care of yourself. This is exactly as serious as I was hoping everyone would take it. I cannot linger here any longer. I think I've said my piece. No, you are not the a-hole. I think you have a lot of great advice on what to do from here. And for the love of Pete, I hope you take the advice. I would like to know what you all think about that one in the comments and let's get on to the next one. This says, am I the a-hole for not wanting to marry my girlfriend? This sounds sticky, this sounds messy. Let's get into it. I, 26 male and girlfriend, 25 female, have been together for about three years going on the fourth year. She's perfect in her own ways. Me and my mom are talking about my future plans and she asked me if I think she's the right person for me. I told her I wasn't sure because I haven't been financially insecure. The reason why I said that is because one day she refused to help me fix my car because my debit card was stolen and I had to call the bank for a replacement. She said, I don't do help mails. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That really stayed with me until today. I still think about it. I told my mom if she won't help me knowing what truly happened with the bank, what makes you think she will help me when I marry her? She's been talking about engagement and honestly, I've lost interest in marrying her. Every time she talks about engagement, I brush it off saying I'm not ready. I will never be ready for her after those comments. Am I the a-hole? Um... Yeah, you're the a-hole for still being in this fucking relationship. Like, what, are you happy that your dick is wet? Like, is it easier having her do laundry and, like, cook you dinners? Like, I'm just making assumptions, but, like, what is it that's keeping you there if you know there's no future and you do not trust her and she fucked you over like that? 
So no, you're not the a-hole for not wanting to marry her. You're the a-hole for still being there. Let's see what Reddit has to say. This says, not the a-hole for not wanting to marry her, but you are the a-hole if you keep stringing her along, just break up. Which is exactly what I said. Next says, are you crazy? Absolutely do not marry this woman, not the a-hole. What if she has a son? She sounds disgustingly uncaring. For real, for real, what does that even mean? Men are not supposed to need help. Are they not human? So you're telling me a man is supposed to be like, all knowing, all doing, all seeing, like perfect in every way. Like, ew, gross. No, they're not. Nobody is fucking perfect in every way. So why are they supposed to not ever need assistance? Cause they're always supposed to be able to just like handle the weight of whatever is thrust upon their shoulders. That makes zero sense. That's not humanity. That's, that's a fucking fairy tale. Okay. Um, the Hulk isn't real. <laughs> Last says, you are the a-hole. You know you don't want to be with this person, so stop dragging the relationship on. End it so you can both move on. I 100% agree. Ew, gross, yuck. I would like to know what you think about that one in the comments, and let's get on to the next story. This says, am I the a-hole for not offering friends a beer when I don't drink alcohol to begin with? So that could be a bit of a sticky situation if you are the sober one hanging out with non-sober friends and being expected to procure alcohol for them. But let's see what the story says. I, male 27, currently in the process of moving from a small apartment to a bigger apartment. So I got friends of myself and friends of my dad, him including, to help me out. During the tedious workout of carrying boxes and furniture up and down multiple floors, I treated everyone to refreshments, water, snacks, and soft drinks. Since I'm following a strict moral code of not drinking alcohol, beer, and any other type of booze doesn't cross my mind. One of the elder friends got hissy since he prefers to drink beer as a refreshment, especially after a job well done. My dad, being of the same generation, he of course is backing him up. My dad and I always see eye to eye and rarely come into arguments that has us, but here's where we crossed paths. Why am I at fault for not catering to those who drink when I never look at the booze aisle in any store? My dad is proud of my non-drinking attitude, but yet he fails to see the issue in this argument. Am I in the wrong? Am I the a-hole? I have a few thoughts, one of which is if you're actively working and sweating, the last refreshment you would need is a beer. Um, that's what you drink at the end for a job well done. Okay, so we're not the end yet. Um, and this person is sober. So why would you expect them to buy alcohol for you? You could have asked, or he also could have told. He could have said, hey, you know, as a thanks for helping me out, I'm gonna have like water and snacks. So, you know, if you guys get thirsty, like, you know, don't, you'll, you'll be taken care of. Like I'll order some lunch or something. And then he could have been like, but is booze included? I mean, granted, it's like the stereotypical, like, oh, I'll buy pizza and beer if you help me move. Yeah, but that's an assumption. And if you make an assumption and it doesn't turn out to be true, it's not the other person's fault. I just feel like a lot more communication could have happened here. And I also feel like there's no reason for people to expect a sober person to buy them beer like to remember to buy them beer i mean you know it's this is weird okay let's see what reddit has to say sounds like the people who helped you would appreciate a beer not the equal for not providing it it's not owed or anything but they helped you quite a bit from the sounds of it it would be very nice to show them they are appreciated with a beer if that's what they'd like on another note have you seen shawshank redemption Oh, Pierce Bonds, in my opinion, if they had mentioned it before, they'd like some, I would have gotten it, no issues. Yeah, really, like, it's not like this OP is saying, no, you can't have beer because I don't drink beer, so no one can have beer. They just said, like, I, I didn't know that you wanted beer. I don't think about beer, so I, I didn't think to add it to, you know, the smorgasbord of what I was offering my helpers today. So, like, my bad. This is silly. This is lack of communication. No, I don't think you're the a-hole. It's, it's really not expected. It's not demanded. It's not like a written law that you have to give people beer when they help you move. You offered them something to drink and something to eat, and that's more than enough. 
when they volunteered to help you. They, it, it wasn't conditional. It wasn't, well, you're going to, you're going to give me beer, right? If it was conditional, it was conditional. If this was not conditional, then you know, you get what you get and you don't get upset. I would like to know what you all think about that one in the comments. Don't forget, we have a playlist of over 350 MIE whole videos up here that you can binge. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.